sorry this upload is a little bit late. Um, I thought I had pre-recorded a video for this for to upload today, but I hadn't. So I um, just decided to do a digital drawing of a like demon type girl that I doodle occasionally. Um, I've been. I can't remember if I said this in my last video, but I've been in like a little bit of a slump in terms of traditional art. Like, I'm just not currently happy with how it's turning out. So I am revisiting digital art, um, which I used to be a mainly digital artist. So it's kind of nice to go back to how I used to draw. Um, I was trying a different lighting technique that I'm sort of on the fence about. Um, I have con trouble controlling my line thickness, so I thought I'd challenge myself to use a thicker brush and try and control my thickness a bit. But yeah, um, I've also been um, working on a piece for an art book that I got accepted into, and I was trying out a well I recolored it multiple times because I wasn't happy with how it was coming out um and I decided to go with like a cell shading sort of style but with like more of a spin different spin on it I don't know um you'll see here I'm just blocking in basic shades and things with a multiply layer and then I go through oh, I put a luminosity layer on and then I go through and blur it all um, because I'm going to pick, colour pick the in-between shades to cell shade with to make it look like not so, I don't know, like solid. You know how like anime is like real single coloured shade sort of thing. I wanted like that but like in between soft shading and cell shading. And it's like a lot of fun because I use like sort of like harsh edges for the shades and everything. It's like a fun style and I'm really enjoying it at the moment so I wanted to play around with it a little bit more. But yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I decided to go with more muted colours um, but then I converted it to CMYK in Photoshop because sometimes... Um, when you do that and you don't color correct it, it like brings out some like interesting colors and I like to see what happens with that. Um, so yeah, that's what the exported image was and I kind of liked how it came out, so. Yeah, I like uh, um, desaturated colors and coloring with them, so. But yeah, so the exporting it to CMYK gives it like a different feel. Um, so here I'm just like merging the um, different shade colors by like doing like cross hatching and hatching and stuff and then I was just coloring the line art to make it look a little bit less harsh and adding some loose hair strands and yep yeah, that's the finished piece thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week bye